Okay, so we're back again. Uh, another uh, bonefish fly. Similar pattern, but uh, I just gonna change the wing and uh, do some uh, minor changes because now I have a fluorescent thread as well. Um, oh, that's interesting because I have a fluorescent thread, but I forgot the the torch in the the yeah the, the cabin yeah or, or shelf. Sorry, yeah. Uh, hold on <laughs> one second before I start. I'm gonna get it first. Okay. So apologize. Now I have it. So the other camera don't really have a, a nice focus currently, but uh, I'm gonna change that while we moving on. So again. Tiemco saltwater hooks, this model 811S. Yeah, I would then have one. So, strong thread. Just to make sure it holds. I'm gonna cut the leftovers. Let me see if I can focus that one now. Some out. What about now? Yeah, now it's better. Let's start there. Eh? Sorry. So, once again, three or four strands of, in this case, the no crystal white is good. I have UV. Uh, UV, actually. Uh, I like it. And uh, I, I do think personally that I catch more fish with it using UV. But uh, yeah, that's just me, okay? So I'm gonna cut it in there. I think I'm gonna double it actually, to be honest. plenty and uh, then it's time for the body so so this body I mean tend to do one with uh, uh, flat tinsel or flat braid actually so I have this one it's white with the you know, a bit of shine in it just gonna tie it in. So I thought. There we are. So I'm gonna move it to the side, tie it in properly. I think I'll leave it in, just tie everything in. I'm just building up the body a little bit. No point having, you know, starving flies. <laughs> the fish wanna, you know, they wanna feed, they don't wanna starve, right? So bear with me one second. Gonna stop there. Turn the the hook into the direction it's gonna fish, and I'm gonna add this uh, the eyes. Oh, the weight! We actually make sure the the fly is gonna fish this way as it is is in the vise now. 
And to be honest, yeah, don't, don't tie all your flies with weights. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's a lot of grass, it, it could be low water. Make sure you have some with just the hook, no, no uh, additional weight. Just to make sure you can fish in all the uh, situations, right? You don't travel to the other side of the world and spend like two months salaries uh, <laughs> to not be able to fish. So I'm gonna stop there and then time for flat braid, okay? It gives a good body and a strong body as well. Uh, there's a lot of brands and colors out there, so you know, just use what you like the most. I just use this. If I can get focusing. There we are. Come on. So, as well as on the other part, and I just did, uh, I'm gonna use uh, Publix. One short, the other one longer. And the bonus, you don't even need to use rubber legs. I just do it because I have quite a lot of rubber legs and they, they age, they dry up. So I'm starting with some basic uh, uh, saltwater patterns. This one for bonefish or you know whatever strikes a hook. But bonefish tend to like this this one. And then I'm gonna move on during the week with the uh, you know tarpon flies and permit flies and yeah, most likely to the week and I'm back again to salmon flies. But yeah. It's nice to be able to shift a bit and not get boring uh, tying a certain pattern. So, time to cut those off. And now about this synthetic wing that I mentioned. But before that, no, I'm gonna tie that wing in first. So I'm just gonna take some synthetic hair. And as you see, you know it's already tapered. How you pronounce it? Let me just cut it off. Actually, I'm gonna throw it there. I'm just gonna add that one. enough crossing the thread over the head you know like an X so before I do that now I'm gonna cut this one off so what I'm about to do is to change thread so you see what I mentioned in my video before but that I actually I didn't change to show you guys, but I'm gonna do that now. So, yeah, securing the thread. That's good enough for now. Let's 
So, have a look at this one. Let's see. Can you see? It's, it's hard to see, but it's really, really fluorescent. Uh, yeah, maybe you can see here. Yeah, there you see. So, I'm gonna finish off with that one. Just need to secure. So now I'm basically just gonna bind until everything is covered with this orange. You can also use, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, UV glue with the uh, already um, the, the pigment of UV in it. But I use what I have, and this is what I have. So I use the thread instead. Fluorescent is actually the name, yes. So before I cut the, this thread off, I'm just gonna add some glue on it. Oops, that, that was way too much. That's why I hate thin glue. So. This one you don't really wanna look at, because now you have the whole effect of the thread just exploding in your eyes if you, know, if you look at it. So be careful with your eyes and your health. And I don't really think this is better than epoxy. It's just uh, different shit. It's poisonous for sure. A little bit here, I'm gonna be more careful. Yeah, there we are. So now this one gonna be tougher than Rambo. Because uh, when I harden this one with the light, never gonna break, ever. Just to make sure it's done properly. I'm not sure you can see it, yeah. Yeah, you see how, how it really shines. So there we are. Quick, easy, simple. Bone fish fly. Let me remove the vise and change the zoom. Oh, there you are. Perfect. So I'm gonna take a few pictures and make sure to add them as uh, you know the intro picture for the video. Oh, fish. So yeah, I th I'm gonna tie a third one, but I, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Just a different variation of it, just to show you the options you can play around with. Um, so uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, make sure to su subscribe to my channel, cause you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything here. A um, lot of different flies, fishing, trips, food, yeah, fairs. Just imagine it's gonna be a lot of fun things, yeah. Okay, thank you for tonight and have a good uh, weekend. Bye.